Yesterday I talked about how software itself has not actually changed much. Sequence, selection, iteration, the fundamental building blocks of software. But it also remains true that the fundamental rules of architecture, of software system architecture, have not changed since the earliest days. They remain stable. Many, many software developers get caught in the trap that something new is better. Be careful of this one because there's not much new. One of the things that's new right now is microservices and everybody is spinning about microservices. Yay, yay, microservices. You realize that microservices were invented within the first five years of software, software development. That the initial Fortran compiler on a, on a 708 computer, the IBM 708 computer, was a set of microservices because they simply didn't have enough memory space in the machine to hold the whole compiler. So they had to shuttle little bits of it in and out, and they had to communicate through a simple, simple protocol, just like a bunch of isolated microservices. Old idea, been around the block a whole bunch of times. It gets reintroduced every 10 years as something new, and everybody spins for a while, and then we realize, oh yeah, that was what we did 10 years ago, and why did we get so excited about it? Be careful of this stuff. The world of, the, of software development is a world that is that at its foundation is fundamentally stable, com composed of rules that have not really changed in 70 years, and yet it's driven by this massive effort of popularity, this, this wild fashion sense. And we wind up with, with the new fashion of software every year, and the new, the new language every year, and the new platform every year, and the new framework every year, and everybody goes, yes, it's the new thing, and the new thing is not new. It's old. It's the same. 